well, it's the Olympic break, so that means there is no NASCAR today, this weekend, or next weekend. So I thought today we'd do something a little bit fun and kind of go over some tracks that we dream for them to be on the NASCAR schedule in one way or another. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. Well, it's the Olympic break, so there's no NASCAR going on right now. I have a couple of videos planned out to kind of fill out the time, I guess you could say, get some conversations started, and this would be a good video for that. If you saw a couple of weeks ago, I made a video which included me talking about the release of the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. It sounded like it was going to be releasing the week after the Chicago Street Course during that week at some point. That didn't end up happening. And I, I think the last couple of years we've seen this. We've seen the schedule be rumored to be released just to not get released and go weeks, if not months, before it finally gets released. As I'm recording this on July 28th, we still do not have a schedule for next year. So I thought I'd go over a couple of tracks that I've dreamed about seeing on the NASCAR schedule. A couple of these are realistic, and I'd say maybe one or one or two of them aren't quite as realistic, I'd say. I'm going to name five tracks, and I'm going to say this to start with. It's not my top five. It's not like, oh, this is my fifth favorite. It's my fourth. It's not in any in particular order just naming five tracks I would dream to see on the schedule. Also, let me know down below, what are some tracks that you dream of to see on the NASCAR schedule, whether it's a point points race, an exhibition of some sort, let me know down below. The first track I would like to name here is a track that I've talked about before that I would love to see on the schedule, and that is Laguna Seca. Laguna Seca is personally my favorite road course. I'm not sure if NASCAR will ever make it to this famous road course of Laguna Seca. I would just really love to see these cup cars, Xfinity cars, maybe even the Craftsman trucks go through that, cr that corkscrew. That would be very interesting to see on how those cars are able to handle the corkscrew. Overall, it's just a legendary racetrack that's housed many forms of racing it, it's hosted nascar races i think too before i think it's hosted some k n races some winston west races back in the day as well but i would love to see laguna seca weather tech raceway whatever you want to call it i would love to see it on the cup series schedule one day that road course out in central california we are going to keep on the road course trend and i see this location as a much more realistic location to end up on the cup series schedule and that would be the return to road america road america is one of my favorite road courses that nascar has gone to over the last 20 years and they did a lot to earn themselves a cup series date they get themselves a cup series date during fourth of july weekend it was reported there was over a million people that attended during the weekend, whether that was on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Throughout the weekend, there was a million people at Road America, and that is insane. So I thought with getting all those people and overall putting on a great race, it was a great race. Tyler Reddick ended up coming out on top at Road America. But with it being a great, entertaining race, them getting a lot of fans at the track and overall it put on a good tv product i thought for sure it would return to the cup series schedule the next year it did not road america unfortunately got cut 
from the Cup Series schedule. Chicago now is the host of the 4th of July weekend. And I just I just think it's real unfortunate. This was a great track for the fans, for the camping experience, the at-track experience. And I would really love to see it come back to the Cup Series schedule. Who knows if it will. I'm hoping it will at some point. Now we're on to another track I would love to see return to the Cup Series schedule, and that is the North Carolina Speedway, The Rock, Rockingham. There's been a lot of rumors over the last couple of years that Rockingham is looking to make a return to the NASCAR schedules. You even had a couple of months ago when I reported it here on this channel. I even included it in my schedule predictions. Carson Hosevar went on his Twitch stream and pretty much told everybody that Rockingham is coming back to the schedule. We don't know if that was just something he had heard or if something it was confirmed or if he was just being a troll because Carson Hosevar can be a troll. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Maybe The Rock will end up on the 2025 schedule in one way or another. That'd be really cool. But if it does not, I hope they continue to do what they've been doing. There's been a lot of people working on The Rock, trying to get it into tip-top shape to make that NASCAR return. And I think eventually it will. The question is, will it be next year, the year after that, two years from now, three? Like, who knows when The Rock will return to the schedule. But I would love to see it return quicker rather than later. All right, those first three... We're not in any order, but these these final two I am going to be putting in order because these are these are the two tracks I would love to see on some sort of schedule ASAP. And at number two out of these two has to be the Thunderdome. Some of you may have heard about the Thunderdome out in Australia. They have brought the stock cars out there before. It is an amazing racetrack. It's kind of kind of like a like Las Vegas almost kind of almost like a Texas world I guess you could say too if they don't do something at this racetrack when it comes to the oval eventually that oval portion of the racetrack will be torn down ever since the years of NASCAR racing on the Thunderdome oval they have developed a road course which gets somewhat use but with how popular NASCAR is becoming in Australia and how popular Australian and Kiwi drivers are becoming over here in the States. I think it's only a matter of time before NASCAR decides to return to the Thunderdome in some sort of fashion, whether that's a points race for a lower series or an exhibition. I really doubt they will, they will do a a points cup series event but you never know but i think especially with this current generation of car the next gen car i think that would produce a great race racing at the thunderdome a very odd place they built the thunderdome though it's on the southern tip of australia pretty much staring down tasmania around nine hours from sydney a very interesting location in australia for this huge oval racetrack to attract nascar I, I would like i said I, I think it is a matter of time before nascar returns there but at the same time i would not be i would not be fully surprised if they just do not ever go back there because purely of the location the track is at and now on to the number one track i would love to see added to the cup series schedule in one way or another and that is the nashville fairgrounds the Nashville Fairgrounds has a very deep-seated history with NASCAR. It's been around for a very, very long time. It's one of the premier short tracks in America, I would say. And I feel like if you listen to a lot of these drivers' racing stories coming up through the ranks, I feel like almost every driver has one Nashville Fairgrounds experience or story. It's just a great historic racetrack, and I would love for it to continue to be a part of the sport. But then you have the location of the racetrack, which in some ways makes it amazing, and in some ways it 
causes issues. The ways it makes it amazing, the location of Nashville Fairgrounds is in a perfect place, actually in the city of Nashville, not that far from all the bars, all the fun stuff in the city. It's a great location. Personally, if NASCAR would to ever return to the fairgrounds, I will be there for the first race. First, like I said, because it will be easy. I can either camp at the racetrack if they offer limited camping, or there's a bunch of hotels within walking distance of the racetrack. It makes it very convenient. But then there's also some negatives to it as local neighborhoods, local people, the local government are trying to essentially get the track shut down. Some of you may have heard about this. They're trying their best to get Nashville Fairgrounds shut down and at bar minimum prevent them from improving the racetrack because they have plans to improve the racetrack and get it set up to be worthy of a NASCAR event once again. I think out of all the tracks on this little list that I've made here, this could potentially be the track that has their future most up in the air. We do not know what's gonna happen with the future of the Nashville Fairgrounds. I hope they don't tear it down one day. I really hope they're able to make the proper renovations that way NASCAR, whether it's the Cup Series, Xfinity Series, the Truck Series, can return to the Nashville Fairgrounds. It's such a historic site for NASCAR. It's always produced great racing, no matter what sort of car goes on to that racing surface. And it would just be amazing. It would be an amazing fan at track experience as well. I'm all for them returning to the Nashville Fairgrounds. But those are five tracks that I personally would love to see on a NASCAR schedule in one way or another, whether it's a points race, exhibition race, all-star race. Doesn't really matter too much to me. I would just love to see all five of these tracks on a NASCAR schedule at one point or another. But give me your thoughts down below. What tracks do you dream of to be on a NASCAR schedule? There's a lot of tracks I left off of this list. You have you have Spa, you have a bunch of street courses like Monaco, like Long Beach to go after as well. You can go after other local short tracks like South Boston or Langley or others. But let me know all those tracks down below and continue to enjoy the Olympic break. Team USA is doing great so far in they did pretty well in rugby. I was impressed. They didn't get gold, unfortunately, in rugby, but they did a little better than I expected them to do. The women's rugby team is doing great. The basketball team, men's basketball, LeBron is as good as ever. We still got a little bit of time before NASCAR makes its return at Richmond. But if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week, but that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.